So I have heard about a beautiful beach here on this island called Bai Sao. And I think it must be somewhere here. And here, look at the pictures. That looks amazing, right? And it also does look really, really nice on Google Maps. Looks like a typical paradise island beach, palm trees, bright sand, clear water. So I'm very keen to check it out. Okay, so let me park the bike here. Okay, so I see the water over there in the background already. But it's too early to, uh, to judge about it. And yeah, I do think that I will be able to get some food here. It is uh, lunchtime now, so I'm actually also hungry. Oh, this actually looks quite touristy. Oh, you can get some uh, some seafood here probably. Hello, fresh seafood. Oh, I'm almost getting uh, Philippine vibes here. Yeah, if you saw my Philippine series a few weeks ago, we saw some uh, some beaches like this in the Philippines as well. So almost getting uh, flashback vibes to uh, to the Philippines here. Although the ocean looks pretty rough today, right? There's a lot of uh, wind actually as well. Hmm. Can I get a coconut? To be honest, the coconuts here look very, uh, very big. Very, very big coconut. Very huge. Oh, that is good. Just, just one for me, please. Ah, yes, yeah. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Opening up like this. Interesting technique. Ah, I think she's not uh, cutting it with a knife. She will just probably put the straw in there. Ah, I think I never saw this before. Usually they, they cut it open with the, with the knife. Ah, oh, thank you very much. 35? Yeah. Okay. And 35? Yes. Okay, come on. Thank you very much. Oh, just like that, I'm having a fresh coconut. It's actually quite heavy. Actually, it's much better like this because you can carry it around easier. Mm. Let's see if I can uh, have a sit somewhere. What's going on here? <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah, the weather isn't the best. As you can see, it's uh, pretty overcast today. I think it would look really amazing here with proper sunshine. But yeah, I'm not going to complain about things that I cannot change. I can't change the weather, so I'm not complaining about it. I'm rather enjoying uh, the delicious coconut here. Can I leave the coconut here? Okay, thank you very much. Come in. Okay, let's see if we can get some food on the beach. There are uh, two little carts selling something. I think it's ice cream and something else. Let's see. Ah, the sand quality here is pretty nice, right? Actually, I shouldn't wear shoes here. The sand is actually very good. Ah. Okay, let's see what food we can get here. Oh, I think they have little snacks here. Oh. Hello, xin chào. Um, what do you have here? Ah, oh, this looks nice. Ah, you have banh mi. And what what is this here? Looks like uh, like little uh, like little dumplings. Oh, is it um, noodles? Or is there like a filling inside? Probably uh, can't really figure out. But uh, I would like to try it. Okay, can I can I get these? One? Yeah. Okay, let's see what. I'm just going to try it now. No idea what it is. Uh, oh wait. Oh, the ice, <laughs> the ice cream man. Uh, okay, uh, ten thousand for four pieces. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, you, you put this on in here. I'm wondering, does she put this on the on the bar me? Uh, no, this one. No, no, I don't want on the sandwich, please. Just yeah, I would like to try this. Yeah, we can we can add more. <laughs> Communication is a little bit difficult here. Um, oh, the ice cream man! Please don't. By the way, uh, you put it inside there. Okay, okay. I'm just uh, letting her do, and then I will see what what's going to be the outcome. Oh, you have sausage as well. Uh, sausage? Papa. Yeah. 
one sausage. Oh, she shows me the money again, how much is it? Mm, probably 15,000. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, not sure if uh, I get a tourist price here now, but actually I don't think so. Sounds uh, reasonably. And uh, yeah, she having uh, the little cart here, riding with the motorbike to the beach. Same as the ice cream man, he's also just riding around uh, the beach here. Selling uh, their delicious items. Okay, I'm very curious now what uh, what I will get. I think it's just uh, going to be like a fried fried food here. Mm. Oh. Ah, so just frying in there now. Yeah, let's see. I, I would guess that uh, we have uh, some meat filling inside here. Uh, pork. What what is inside here? <laughs> ah, no problem, no problem. <laughs> overwhelming her with the English. That's okay, I'm just going to taste it and then I will see what's inside. Oh, check this out. Taking some pictures here on the stairs. Oh, that looks nice. But I'm not sure how trustworthy this uh, staircase is. You see, it's very, uh, very rusty. And there's a sign saying 20,000 for something. Hello. <laughs> see, ciao. I'm wondering what the sign this is. So this is 20,000 for, for something here? Yeah. What does the sign say? Um, you have to pay 20,000? Yeah, only 1,000. For, for what? For go up there? Uh, three. One, three? two, three. You have to pay to use it? Yeah, here. Ah. Uh, ah, there are more. Football. Ah, football. okay, okay, okay. Ah, so I think you have to pay to, uh, to go up here, take pictures, but there are like three places where you pay to take a picture. I think the other one is the the hammock over there. I see the similar or the same sign actually hanging there. Ah, interesting business model, right? Putting up a staircase here and then charge people to take pictures on it. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, enjoy. Actually, 20,000 uh, less than one US dollar. So uh, if you want beautiful pictures, you gotta pay for it. Let's see how it's doing. I think this is, oh what is this, it looks like barbecue sauce, okay a little bit, I'm just going to try it, yeah I think this is sweet too, okay let's try Vietnamese street food, Vietnamese beach food I should say, street food on the beach, so let's find out uh, what this is, looks like a little dumpling, can't really figure out what it is, mm, it's not soft, it's more like a, like a crispy shell to it. But I'm not really sure what is inside. But actually it's not bad. Like a little snack. And then the inside is something something meaty I would say. I think there's meat inside. Mm. Yeah. Typical hot dog sausage. Yeah. I think you all know how the taste of these sausages are, right? Yeah, nothing special, nothing uh, bad, nothing great. So let me see if I can uh, catch the ice cream man. He's driving in circles over there. Xin chào. I would like some ice cream. What uh, flavors do you have? Uh, okay, I think this is a uh, strawberry, coconut. Let me. Okay. Um, chocolate. Uh, okay. Just a uh, mix. I don't really mind which flavors I get. Just uh, you can just mix it together. Strawberry. Okay. Okay. Actually, it's already uh, pretty mixed in there, so I don't think it would be possible to just get one flavor. Okay, that's okay. I don't need uh, so much. Ah, he's putting a... Um, uh, I think this is condensed milk. Okay, a little bit. Ah, yeah. Okay, okay. That's enough. Okay, uh, how much? How much you get? 15,000. Ah, okay. So I have 20 here. Okay, come on. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. 
Okay, so we have ice cream here with uh, this condensed milk on top. They also do this in Thailand. Mm. Oh, it's very good. Very refreshing. Mm. And there he goes. Off to the next customer. Okay, let's investigate this uh, business model of um, taking pictures here and having to pay for it. Because you can see here, this is also like a typical photo spot. But if you have a look behind it, there's also this sign. So probably, yeah, you pay 20,000. I think that's, uh, that's what the lady explained. You pay 20,000 and then you can take pictures at all these different places. So uh, this place here, this looks like this and then you can take a picture on the stairs over there and then I think at the hammock over there as well that's how you make money here on the beach in Vietnam okay so I just enjoyed some time here actually the wind was quite nice yesterday was a pretty sunny and hot day here so I'm actually enjoying it to be a little bit overcast today but yeah there's more to explore on this island <laughs> Hello, Steve Chow. Me. <laughs> I don't understand you, unfortunately. <laughs> so, yeah, let's continue to explore this island. If you have seen the previous episode where we explored the northern part of the island, now we are at the southern part of this island. So, this uh, beach that you just saw is uh, yeah, on the southeast coast of the island. I'm looking for the viewpoint, it's up there. So yeah, the plan is to do a hike here. I read about a hike to a beautiful viewpoint, but I'm not sure how long the hike will be. If you read the reviews on Google Maps, some are saying 20 minutes, some are saying one and a half hours. So I'm not, uh, not sure, but I guess I will find out by myself. Uh, can I get water? Uh, water? Yeah, 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 please. Um, Maybe, uh, yeah, one really now. Pretty sure. Even if it's one and a half hours. Yeah, <laughs> Let's see how much I have to pay. 20? 20? Yeah. Only 10? Oh. Okay. Only, oh, okay. Okay, a little bit misunderstanding here, but uh, okay, only 10. <laughs> okay. <laughs> only 10, okay. Um, go up. And how many minutes? Six? Sixty? Maybe one hour? Six? Sixty minutes maybe. Three? Come back. Oh, okay, I think she means sixty minutes to come back. Okay. Okay, come on. Thank you very much. So, the plan is now to hike up the mountain over there. Actually, it looks as if it will take longer than half an hour to get up there. But yeah, we're gonna see. I'm not sure how official this viewpoint is. If you have a look here, it's not an official path here. You don't have to pay entrance fee. And I just know about this uh, because I had a look around on Google Maps. That's what I usually do. When I arrive in new areas, the first thing I do is just scroll around Google Maps See if I can find anything that looks interesting, then read some reviews about it. And that's how I found this viewpoint here. Okay, for the record, it is now exactly four o'clock. So if it's one hour, then we should be back here at five. Okay, so all we have here is this little sign. Soy Sen Ti. I think that's the name, something like that. Hope is going to hold my weight. I lost some weight recently, so feeling a little bit lighter. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be a proper path through the jungle here. Oh, wow. Didn't expect that, to be honest. But actually, that's good because that means we are hiking in the shade and not in the sun. So it's a little bit cooler here.
Okay, I'm like 12 minutes in and forget what I said about uh, it's good to be in the shade here. It's not gonna be as hot, what I said like 10 minutes ago. Forget about that. It's still amazingly hot here. Well, amazingly is probably the wrong word. It is very hot here. <laughs> oh, look at this. I look like I'm just coming from the shower. Ah, completely soaked already after 10 minutes hiking here in Vietnam. Incredible. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's uh, not a hike where you have good views already during the hike, you know. So just uh, yeah, forest views here. So I guess we have to wait for the views until we have reached the top. Okay, it gets even steeper. Oh, check this out. <laughs> oh, oh, how safe is this? I'm not so sure. How steep does it look on on the video? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go. Oh, I mean, would you trust this? This is totally not stable. Not so sure about this ladder here. So now you have to also you have to climb over these things here, which makes it even more difficult. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me if there are maybe some parts now in the video where I don't talk too much, but as you can imagine, it's pretty exhausting. So if I'm talking at the same time as well, it gets even more exhausting. But yeah, I'm sure most of you watching this video have been on hikes like this before as well. So you maybe can understand what I'm feeling at the moment. And oh, water is running over my nose here. Okay, I have a choice to make. I have two options. Option number one, this wooden ladder here. Option number two, the more safe looking option, a proper metal ladder. Oh yeah, that sounds uh, pretty solid. Feels very solid. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Okay. <sighs> Doing this with one hand is even more difficult so that's what I'm doing here for you guys so that you can uh, have the experience together with me basically uh, uh, oh this is getting a little bit scary don't want to look down now you can look down I want oh, I already know I'm not looking forward to go back here I should place you guys here for a second. Okay. You guys right there. Uh, I need both of my hands now. Uh, oh. Okay. Whew. All right. Uh, by the way, 20 minutes in. So there was one comment saying it takes only 20 minutes to hike up there. The comment was wrong proven wrong. Ah, the lady said, if I understand her correctly, 60 minutes for both ways. So that means we should arrive in the next 10 minutes. Didn't had a longer break yet. So I didn't waste it much time yet. Okay, just for the record, it's 4.30 now. So I am exactly half an hour in. Didn't took uh, really long breaks yet. So it's not half an hour, still can't see the end. So the second theory from the lady, in case I understood her correctly, uh, also proven wrong. <laughs> and I wouldn't describe myself as the slowest hiker, uh, but also definitely not the fastest. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Ah, some spider webs here. I guess I want. I don't want to accidentally 
put my hand there to stabilize myself. Who knows what type of spiders are living in there. Okay. Oh, interesting part. I have to squeeze through here. Okay. I think the end is near. Because it doesn't get higher, you know. We have reached the the limit of the no that was wrong oh my english is a little bit all over the place now i'm exhausted excuse me for that but uh, i think we have reached the top almost can't be far away anymore oh, oh i'm happy we made it let's see if it was worth it by the way it's now four 37 so it took me almost 40 minutes to get up here without longer breaks but uh, yeah if you are not really fit i don't recommend to hike up here for example if you remember a few weeks ago i did hiking uh, or i went hiking with my mom and my family in thailand but it was just like a short hike 10 15 minutes but uh, this hike for my mom no way no way okay but <laughs> oh my god okay guys you have to see this. Wow. Was it worth it? What do you think, guys? Whew. This is epic. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Wow. That's where we're coming from. Down there, the road. Oh my gosh. Whew. <laughs> unbelievable and what's what's even more unbelievable is that i'm the only person here having this place all by myself i mean together with you guys all of you are here with me basically appreciate you joining me Whew. wow oh, do you know what's a good thing about hikes like this you have to work for your reward if it would have been able to just drive up here the feeling would not be the same you know you enjoy a view like this much more when you have to work for it so hiking up here 40 minutes was definitely working for it but uh, yeah the reward feels much better after doing the hike up here the exhausting hike oh, and there's also it looks like a like a tombstone but i guess people uh Putting some offerings here. We have some uh, small glasses here with something inside. So maybe uh, there's also like a religious uh, meaning behind this place. And yeah, there's also a little bridge going over to that part. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, hmm. It looks okay, but I'm too old to, to do stuff like that. Why risking my life? The view won't be much better over there than it is here. No, especially if you are alone out here, there's no reason to do that. The view here is already good enough. So I actually also just enjoyed some time here without the camera being turned on. Like, you know, it's always important to also enjoy moments like this, really be in the moment. I mean, obviously I'm filming a lot of these moments, always have my camera out, taking pictures, filming the videos. Uh, filming stories for my Instagram uh, Yeah, always uh, busy with filming a lot and yeah when I'm filming when I'm filming these videos uh, I'm usually like in in the mode in the zone of filming if that makes sense like I'm always like focus on What can I film now what to say? How to properly make the storyline in the video what shots to get something like that. So I'm always um, Yeah, my head is always busy when I'm filming these videos so uh, sometimes I'm struggling a little bit with enjoying these moments, like really being in these moments. And then sometimes it happened that uh, yeah, I'm looking at the footage later at the hotel or when I'm editing the video or when the video gets published. And then I'm seeing this, oh my God, this looks so beautiful. Why didn't you enjoy the moment more, you know? So that was actually one of my New Year's resolutions this year to uh, live more in the moments, enjoy the moments, enjoy moments like this. It is absolutely beautiful here. So uh, yeah, I just uh, 
spend some time here without the camera being turned on, without taking pictures, just sitting here admiring the view and thinking about life, you know? And yeah, I always recommend, uh, I see it so many times when I am at yeah, popular tourist spots or beautiful destinations that I see other people and they are always taking pictures the whole time, rushing through it and yeah, I, I'm, I used to be the same or many times I, I was like that as well. So um, yeah, I always recommend to you guys, uh, if you're in situations like this, put the phone away for a few minutes. Just uh, enjoy being here and save some memories just in your head rather than uh, on the phone. To be honest, I'm not really looking forward to the hike down now. And uh, yeah, let's see how long it will take to get down. See you down there. And I am back. Whew. Going down is a little bit less exhausting than going up. Took me now half an hour, so a little bit less in time as well. And yeah, as usual, if you are interested where exactly this place is, I will leave a Google Maps link in the description. And yeah, if you haven't seen the previous video of us exploring the northern part here on this island, check it out right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao, guys!